4th of July. I'm a little bit sad when Halloween has gone by. I'm thankful Thanksgiving comes around in the fall. But I've always loved Christmas, the best of them all. Every day's special, I'm not complaining. But I'm always counting the days still remaining till Christmas. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, dear, it's too big. What's the matter, Rhoda? Oh, hi, Olive. My husband and I took the kids out to buy a Christmas tree, but they're all much too big. Too big, huh? Wait right here. <gasps> here you go. All that wonderful tiny smell and no needles to vacuum up. It's on me. Merry Christmas. Oh, Olive, it's perfect. Thank you. And Merry Christmas to you. I'm much obliged. Thanks, Olive. Christmas, my favorite day. The wait's almost over. It's just hours away. <laughs> Rolex, genuine Rolex. Rolex, genuine Rolex, ten bucks. I didn't know Rolex had three X's. Typographical error. Fact me seconds. Genuine hmm. Rolex, ten bucks. I also got pens and stationery real cheap. Why does it all say City Zoo? I used to work there. The office supplies were my severance package when I, uh, left to pursue other opportunities. You mean you were fired? Fired? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. They begged me not to go. Now come on, buy a watch. Mm, I don't know. Huh. Okay, okay. I'm a victim of oppressive corporate bureaucracy. Yeah, yeah, they fired me. I was a hard-working entrepreneur, smuggling in junk food, dirty magazines, files hidden inside cakes, until a stool pigeon, an actual stool pigeon, ratted me out. So stand up for free enterprise. Fight the man. Buy a luxury timepiece, pooch. I'm Olive. What's your name? Martini. For you, Olive, nine bucks. Oh. Are you selling counterfeit watches again? I warned you, I'll... First of all, they're real Rolexes. Second, I was giving them as a Christmas gift to my dear old friend, Olive. Right, Olive? Uh, that's right. Thanks, Martini. Hmm. I'm watching you, Penguin. Don't forget it. Thanks for helping me out there, Olive. Here, Merry Christmas. Hey, thank you. Nine bucks. <sighs> Where were you, Olive? It's late. It's not late. It's... Uh -huh. How are your dog chores coming? Did you bury any bones today? No, Tim. Chase any cars or cats? Afraid not. Did you even make a token attempt to tear up any flower beds? Uh-uh. And I haven't heard any senseless barking at all. Woof. I don't know how you can call yourself a dog, Olive. Come on, Tim. You know I'm not for that silly stuff. I've tried to be man's best friend by being your best friend, haven't I? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll get with the program, Olive, and start acting like a dog. I'm sorry, Tim. Let's not fight at Christmas. There's no Christmas this year. <sighs> He's known for years that you're not like other dogs. He even teases you for having a pet flea. Why is he so upset all of a sudden? Ever since he was tiny, Tim has loved Christmas. But he thinks there's no Christmas this year. I don't know why. Are you still going to give him the slippers? Yeah. I probably should have chewed them first. <clears throat> oh, what I wouldn't give for opposable thumbs. Hey, how about some music? That might cheer you up. Prescription eyewear. <laughs> Dogs, do you smell your best when you're wet? Check out the Marzipan Shacks pre ramadan clearance sale. Or what is it? High pitched sound only I can hear. Forget it. Tonight on Fox, the world's wildest mistletoe accidents. Recapping our top story. Santa is expected to cancel his traditional Christmas <gasps> Eve flight. Blitz and the reindeer was injured earlier today during a practice flight and won't recover in time. Oh no! Santa had this to say. Ho, ho, ho. I'm not sure if I'll have to cancel, but it doesn't look good. Maybe somehow we'll make do with all of the other reindeer. But if not, Merry Christmas anyway.
Did Santa just say Olive, the other reindeer? He said maybe we'll make do with all of the other reindeer. You silly flea. No. He said Olive, the other reindeer. I heard him. Santa needs you to be the replacement reindeer. That's crazy. That's why you're not interested in chasing cars and barking like an idiot. You're a reindeer, not a dog. That would explain a lot, but I just don't think so, Fido. I'll bet Tim would rather have you pull Santa's sleigh than chase flower beds and tear up cars or whatever. I'm sure he would, but... I'm serious, Olive. You've got to get to the North Pole. But even if I... Olive! Uh-oh, here comes Tim. I really don't want to get yelled at again. Hide! Olive, I came to apologize. What did he say? I think he said, I'm ashamed of all your lies. What? You didn't do anything wrong. Santa's not flying, and I took it out on you. You always do everything wrong. Santa's not flying, and I shook it. A trout fondue. We can still have Christmas. Come on in the house. I'm lighting the Yule log, and there's a space for you. You can't kill my Christmas. Get out of this house. I'm getting a new dog, and I'm replacing you. Olive? Are you there? Olive! He's gone. Tim's getting a new dog. He's replacing me. I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't heard it myself. You were right. I've got to get to the North Pole and pull that sleigh. Tim seems to blame me for Santa not flying, but maybe I can still be his dog if I can be Santa's other reindeer. Now you're talking. All of the other reindeer. Hooray! Gotta go. I'll call you. Bye, Fido. I love you. Could you finish wrapping those presents? Oh, that's okay, Olive. No harm done. Aren't you going to kick me or spray me or something? No, not today. Wow. I guess you've really got the Christmas spirit. That's right. The no more Christmas spirit. <gasps> Did you hear? Santa's not flying. He's through. Yes, but... At last. We're breaking the cycle of despair. By next year, people will have forgotten about Christmas. What's the matter with Christmas? The matter... The matter? In the summertime, the delivering so easy. My bag is light and the world is fresh, but by autumn I'm getting queasy. The shoulder strap tears at my flesh. I'm a zombie by Thanksgiving. With four weeks torture still to come, this is no way to make a living. Christmas, bah, bug and hum. One flimsy little Christmas card. Surely that can't be too hard. But multiply it a billion fold and see why Christmas leaves me cold. Christmas, bah, bug and hum. They cut down bigger, fatter logs so I can bring more catalogs. First class, third class, book great book. Is it any wonder why I sold Christmas? Bah, bug and hum. Send a friend a two-ton gift. I don't mind, I love to lift. Especially when the weather's freezing. Oh yes, I love the Christmas season. Christmas, bah, bug and hum. By now my ligaments suck toast, but here it comes, more parcel post. Why not splurt, send it priority? What's one more pain in my posteriority? Posteriority? So here's one vote for cancellation of all that Christmas celebration. If Santa's grounded, that's a start for taking strain off my poor heart. So turn around, go back home, Rover. As of now, Christmas is over. Hate to disappoint you, but I'm going to the North Pole to save Santa's flight. You're not a reindeer. You can't fly. You can't do anything. You wait and see. I'll be zooming right over your head, pulling that sleigh. And it will be a Merry Christmas, even for you if you let it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a bus to catch. Nobody's going to help that lousy old Santa. Stay away from the North Pole, or I'll hand cancel you.
Riding or chasing? Riding. I need a ticket to the North Pole. Bus N34 connects at Arctic Junction boarding right now. I'll take one ticket, please. Make that two tickets. Hi, old buddy. Can you pay for my ticket? No, Martini. Why don't you go pursue other opportunities? Come on, I I'll pay you back later. I it's Christmas. There's no room at the inn. Please. <laughs> oh, this is absolutely the last time I help you out. Okay. <laughs> Let me go! This dog committed mail fraud. I'm taking her into custody. <laughs> mail fraud, Olive? Cool. Well, see you around. What's all this about? <laughs> She's wanted for several counts of mail fraud, including uh, licking the self-adhesive stabs and <laughs> not mailing early for the holidays. <laughs> Martini! Help me! <laughs> Last call for bus N34, service to the North Pole. Martini! I'm innocent! I'll root for you on court TV! Help me, Martini! I helped you! Ah. You owe me for those pens! Come on! Grab my tail! Quit wagging it! Whoa! No! No! Thanks, Martini. That postman is bad news. Ah, uh, don't mention it. So how come you're going to the North Pole? Blitzen's hurt, so they need another reindeer or they can't fly. I heard Santa on the radio saying that he needed Olive, the other reindeer. <laughs> huh? Excuse me, Olive, but Santa said all of the other reindeer. I'm afraid you just misunderstood. It happens all the time. I used to think the Pledge of Allegiance was about me, Richard Stans. It's not? So you think Santa asked you to pull his sleigh? That's sweet. I almost hate to point out that you're a dog. I really think I am a reindeer. I've always been different than other dogs. And somebody has got to do something or it won't be a very Merry Christmas. Well, more power to you then. And why are you going to the North Pole, Martini? Well, I figure if Christmas is canceled, maybe I can pick up all of Santa's toys cheap and make a bundle on them. Also, I need to cool off. Ooh, I'm into huh? that. Hey, are you going to the North Pole? Oh, the North Pole metropolitan area. We were vacationing down here. The 40 degree temperatures were fun for a while, but it'll be nice to get home. Do you know Santa's reindeer? Oh, sure. They're really big. Two or three times bigger than you. And they have hoofs instead of paws. Mm -hmm. And their fur is much thicker than yours. And the magnificent antlers. And they really can fly. Well, that all may be true, but I'm a reindeer just the same. Listen, uh, Olive, I'm from a zoo. I know reindeer. I work with reindeer. Reindeer were friends of mine. You, Olive, are no reindeer. I'm strong for my size. And however it is that they can fly, magic beans or whatever... Years of practice. Plus jetpacks. I know you're all trying to be helpful, but sometimes in life you just suddenly know exactly what to do. Yeah, like the time I suddenly had no brakes going down the mountain road. What did you do? Hmm, I don't remember. But I guess it must have turned out all right. Maybe we should have taken a train. of him. <laughs> Richard, how long till we reach Arctic Junction? A couple of hours. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Olive! Where, oh, where can she be? Oh, I was too hard on her. Now I've really ruined Christmas. Let's go under there. In the tiger. I wonder how she's doing. So I pointed out to the judge that technically it wasn't a pyramid scheme because I had... Arctic Junction! Arctic Junction! Connect here for the North Pole! How long till that bus leaves? Almost an hour. We've got time to grab some food if you want. Mmm. Yum, yum, yum. What'll you have? The bone. Dressing on the side, please. I'll try the deep-fried candy canes. Ah, uh, the small dead fish sampler. Maybe I should have tried the reindeer chow. Here's the latest from the North Pole. Santa Claus has scheduled a press conference for 11 o'clock tonight. He is expected to cancel his flight for the first time ever. Aww. Hey, everybody! Don't despair! I'm Olive, and I'm going to the North Pole to help Santa. I'm the other reindeer. What's the matter? Haven't you people ever seen a small dog-like reindeer before? I live! I live! I live! I live! I live. Okay. You're Olive, the other reindeer? Santa's looking for you. He's out in the parking lot. He wants to give you a flying test. Oh, boy. My big moment. Wish me luck, guys. Coming, Santa! I think the waitress likes me. Santa? Santa couldn't make it. <gasps> but I'll let him know you failed the test. <laughs> 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 Neither rain nor snow, etc., will keep me from keeping you from the North Pole and saving Christmas! <laughs> it's beginning to look nothing like Christmas. Poison me, Shuto. Dear Santa, I hate you, and I hope you never come again. Stay home. Love, Bobby. Hmm, that's strange. Ooh. Hey, don't tamper with the mail. It's a federal offense. But it's addressed to me. Oh, okay then. <sighs> Great for zoo monkeys. Hmm. Postal regulations require you to stay put and keep quiet. <sighs> oh! <gasps> Postman, wasn't it? We found the waitress' clothes. How'd you get away? It's kind of hard to explain. Have you ever heard of Deus Ex Machina? Denise who? Look it up. But listen, we missed the bus. You should have gone on without me. Ah, uh, spare me the modernum. I just called the postal service to complain about that postman. Guess what? I got that voicemail. How can we get to the North Pole now? That was the last bus. I'd take you up myself, Olive, but if I don't get back to the depot on time, I'll lose my job. I'm sorry. You could always sell watches. You might find someone in the bar who'll take you up. We'll try it. Thanks, Richard, for everything. I'm rooting for you, Olive. You other reindeer. Merry Christmas. And, uh, Happy Hanukkah. <laughs> Goodbye! Replacement reindeer. I need a ride to the North Pole so I can help pull the sleigh and save Christmas. Anyone? You don't look like no reindeer to me, mutt. <laughs>
Well, I am, and my name's Olive. Can you fly? Um... Oh, sure she can fly. She can fly like a bird. Like the kind of birds that fly, I mean. Oh, really? Let's <gasps> see. Oh! <laughs> Amazing. Just what Santa needs. Uh, oh! It's a miracle. We found another flying reindeer, and Christmas is back on again. Oh! Ow! Sorry, Arturo. Please, just let me. Hey! Let's take her up to the roof and see how she flies. Now that's enough, fellas. Uh, we'll just leave now. We don't want any trouble. Oh, it's Mr. Briefcase. Let's see what you got in there. Watch it, pal. That's valuable merchandise. It's mine! A barking reindeer. Isn't that just... Stow it, Tundra Breath. Maybe I'm just a little runt with no antlers, but it looks like I'm the only one who's trying to save Christmas. You can at least wish me luck. There are actually people out there who want to cancel Christmas. Are you on their side? Uh... Throwing someone off a roof. Is that how you want to remember Christmas? You must have asked Santa for something. Do you think you deserve what you've asked for? Hmm. It's a two-way street. Santa doesn't just give you stuff because you ask. You have to deserve it. I'm trying to deserve the good things I have and the good things I hope I will have in the future. If you want me to fail, then I guess it's too late to save Christmas. It's already gone. Come on, Martini. A drill. What? I asked Santa for a reversible three-speed cordless electric drill. I'm too naughty to deserve such a nice drill. All right, pull yourself together. Let's think about this. Olive, huh? That's right. I'm sorry, Olive. We're really not such a bad bunch. When you're this far north with no sun and light, sometimes tempers fray. Life's hard enough, and now Santa's flight. It's been an awful day. Employment in the Latitudes depends on old same neck. So forgive us if we all have attitudes. We're up a frozen crack. We're not so bad. We're, not so bad. We're really sweet and funny. We're not so bad. Except for that funny. We're not so bad. We're, We're not, not so, so bad. bad. We're not so bad. When you walked in, may I be frank, of course we were suspicious. It seemed you were playing a nasty prank, that's why we got malicious. But we're not so bad, we're not so fearful, once you get to know us, we're downright cheerful. We're not so bad, we're not so bad, we're not so bad. Now that we know you, if you ever come again, we promise not to throw you. We're not so bad. We're not so bad. We're not so bad. Go on, you guys. He can take you up in his half track. Olive, round John Virgin. Oh, like in the Silent Night song. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, round John can take you as far as the North Pole gates. After that, you're on your own. <sighs> we'll figure out something. I'm Blitzen's cousin Schnitzel. Flightless, unfortunately. It happens. We're ready to go. Thanks, Schnitzel. The puffin's going, too? That's penguin to you, pal. Good luck, and Merry Christmas. Do I look like a puffin? Do your thing. Good luck, Olive. And I'm sorry I was such a jerk earlier. It's okay, Round John. You're not the only one who's let their emotions get the better of them today. Hey, thanks for the ride. Here, high quality office supplies for you. Gee, City Zoo envelopes. Thanks. Merry Christmas. Bye, Round John. Goodbye. 
if there's a casino. Anonymous high-ranking elves are confirming that Santa will shortly make a statement officially canceling his traditional Christmas Eve flight. Your reaction, little doggy? Um, I think that maybe... Uh, my client has no comment at this time. You better get in there. I don't know why, but you even got me believing this is gonna work. I'm Olive, the new reindeer. I'm here to help pull Santa's sleigh. Olive, Olive... No Olive on my list. But Santa said on the radio that he was counting on Olive, the other reindeer. That's me! I'm filling in for Blitzen. I can't let you in. But I have to... No. Isn't there someone who I could talk... No. Don't you even care? Let me think. No. <sighs> well... No. Now move along or I'll have you arrested. And I'm warning you, the fence is protected by alarms. So just go back where you came from. But I... <sighs> Time to think of plan B. Hmm. While you're thinking, maybe I'll just go use that payphone. Payphone? Yes! <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. Huh? Oh. Ah. <laughs> eh? Huh? Oh, authorized repair center. Oh, we'll send a man over right away, sir. Good. It'll be a penguin, actually. A penguin. Oh, he'll have it working in no time. Well, I'll be here till six. All right then. Goodbye. You know, this could be an exfoliated carburetor or a decaffeinated dodecahedron. What? Let me get out my tool. Hmm. Oh yes, I see. I'll just have to recalibrate the uh, time. I'll need you to kill the alarms along the fence for a minute, though. What? Well, otherwise, the electromagnetic wave will interfere with the signals from the satellite. Well, all right. <laughs> it just needs the complimentary engraving. E-L-F, right? I'll tell you what, I'll have it back for you on Monday. And I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Merry Christmas! Special delivery! More children's letters to Santa! <laughs> Let's do the press conference, boss, and hope for better luck next year. There must be some way you could go. Can't we fly with seven reindeer? I doubt we could handle it, Chief. Maybe we shouldn't even try. So many of the kids' letters this year haven't been very nice. Dear Santa, I hate you. Don't come to my house, Johnny. Boss, well, that's awful. Dear Santa, lose some weight and get a real job. <sighs> Maybe it's time to retire anyway. No! Those letters are fake! Santa... I know who's been writing those letters. They're all from a very mean postman who wants to wreck Christmas. <gasps> Look at the envelopes. No postmarks. Hmm. That's true. And just who might you be, little doggy? I'm actually not a dog. I'm Olive, the replacement reindeer you asked for. I'm not quite following you, Olive. You say you're a reindeer, and I asked you to come? Right. I heard you on the radio. We always get the crazies on Christmas Eve. Never fails. Well, can you fly, Olive? Can you afford not to find out? Well, now, if you're sure all those mean letters aren't from real kids... Everyone loves you, Santa. And all over the world, everyone is hoping you'll fly tonight and make their dreams come true. I know I don't look like much, but give me a try for all those good folks who deserve what they've asked for. I guess they'll understand if you can't make it. But Round John Virgin sure would like that electric drill. <laughs> and my master Tim, well, maybe he does want a better dog, but mostly I think he just wants Christmas. I don't think he'll find a better dog, Olive, even if you are a reindeer. Thanks for coming. Ho, 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 people! We're flying! Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Tell the media. Okay. Load up the sleigh. Yeah. Come on, help Olive here get hitched up. <laughs>
I've just learned that you'd better not pout, you'd better not cry, you'd better not shout. I'm telling you why. A mysterious other reindeer has arrived to take Blitzen's place. As of now, the flight is on again. I'll be darned, she really did it. Who's she? What's going on? Well, see, um, earlier today... <laughs> <laughs> oh, she had a clear sense of mission. She cares deeply about Christmas. Close, close friend of mine for years. Not, not, not housebroken, not to my knowledge. She is housebroken. <laughs> there you go. By the way, where's Rudolph? There's no Rudolph. It's just one of those urban legends. Sleigh's loaded. Everyone ready? Ready. <laughs> All of the other reindeer, huh? Well, why not? It's a season of miracles. Good luck, kid. Oh, thanks, Comet. Santa, one niner, niner, niner. Cleared for takeoff on 22 left. Punch it, boys! <laughs> Unorthodox style, but hey, whatever works for you. You had me worried for a minute there, though. Are we good to go? Comet? Ho, ho, ho. I think so. Just don't pick up any hitchhikers. You okay, Olive? I'm solid. <laughs> down in history. Fine. Fly as much as you want. You're still out of business. Because this year, even though I've been naughty, I got all the toys. <laughs> the laws of breaking and entering, as they pertain to Santa, are unclear. Hmm. Excuse me. And look, I got another present. I must have been extra bad this year. Mm, let's see. Mm, doll, Jack in the Box, uh, cordless drill. Aha! Here we go. The train set that should have been mine when I was a kid. That was the year Santa started putting me on his naughty list. He didn't cut me any slack, so I'm not cutting him any slack. Old fat boy's finished. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. <laughs> We're only at the first house and I'm beat. You want some lichen flavored gum? It'll perk you up. What's this? Credit card offers? Catalogs? Sweepstakes mailings? Bad news, gang! Somehow we got the wrong sack. Oh. This is all junk mail. What? Santa, let me smell that mail. <sniffs> the postman. I knew it. Let's go! But where? Just head north. Sooner or later, I'll pick up the scent. <laughs> it's getting awfully late. This way! <laughs> Fish breath. 
You got Martini too? Oh, now you're in for it. That's it. A little lower. Steady. Oh, no, you don't. Ah, ah. Get off me, you jolly old busybody. You should have stayed home! Bad dog! Bad dog! Was that you or your stunt double? Aw, oh, go on. Are you okay, Martini? <sighs> Shaken, but not stirred. Anyway, all the toys are here. Also, a cordless drill. Huh? Uh, thanks for your help, Martini. I'd offer you a lift in the sleigh, but Comet says no hitchhikers. Just our luck that you're flightless. Hey, don't worry about me. I'll drive home. I mean, how hard can it be? Plus, someone's got to take care of Mr. Zip. Ooh. Hmm. Cardboard wings. Time to go, ho, ho! Coming! Thanks for everything, Martini. What will you do now? Uh, you know, I'll do a little loan shark and sell a little Amway. Don't worry about me. Merry Christmas, Olive. Merry Christmas, Martini. Uh... Olive, great job getting the toys back. But we're way behind schedule. Any chance we could go faster, gang? Warp speed, Captain! Ho, ho, ho! I don't have antlers, I don't have hooves. How flying works, I have no clue. But now I've got the reindeer moves. Good to call him to remind us He can't give up on Christmas Eve Now the trouble's all behind us Cause all I've got is how to believe So Merry Christmas after all To everybody big and small I pulled the sleigh and had a ball So Merry Christmas Spirit, let nothing you dismay. You don't need springs or wings or strings to fly on Christmas Day. So let all this tale remind you on this Christmas Eve. It's all right there inside you. You just have to believe. So Merry Christmas after all to everybody big and small. I guess I could deliver this stuff. It's not as glamorous as helping Santa. But there'll be trouble if the folks can't enter their sweepstakes. Besides, Christmas gratuities. That's it! All done! Excellent work, boys! And three cheers for Olive, the other reindeer. Hooray! Hooray! Arf, arf, arf. 
After we get home and relax for a while, we usually go out for some reindeer games. Will you join us? Hmm, maybe. Hey, it's my house. Fido and Tim. Well, think about it. Oh, no. That arctic fog. Olive, I'm sorry, but we're lost in the fog. Could you smell us home? Mrs. Claus is baking cookies. Cookies? Mmm, gingerbread. Ten degrees starboard. I'd be honored if you'd call me Comet, the other dog. Sure, but first, cookies! Yeah. <laughs> well, I gotta hand it to you, Olive. You saved Christmas. No, I only convinced everyone else to do their best. Oh, don't you be so modest, Olive. You were great! And now, ho, ho, ho! Presents for the staff and crew. Oh! <laughs> Uh, both. From an insurance point of view, the jump rope's probably not a wise idea. Olive, here's something for you. <gasps> Thank you. I know I'm not really a reindeer, but I'm proud I could help anyway. You've all been so wonderful. I'd love to stay, but I really must go home. I thought so. Let me finish my cappuccino and I'll give you a lift. Yeah. Bye, Olive. Bye. Bye. We'll Bye, miss Olive. you. Merry Bye. Christmas, Olive. Bye. Bye. I'll keep in touch. Merry Christmas. <gasps> Look, it's Martini. Martini, you helped save Christmas. We saw you on TV. Oh, well, I hope it was a color set. Black and white doesn't do me justice. I'm pleased to offer you your old position back, Martini. The zoo can always find room for an extraordinary, flightless aquatic bird who attracts media attention. And we've been a little short-handed since the monkeys escaped. Oh, it's tempting, but I think I can get you an even better penguin. All of the other reindeer says Christmas? Huh? Merry Christmas, Tim. I hope you're not too mad at me. Olive! I was so worried you'd never come back. I'm sorry I was so mean. Can you ever forgive me? I was so upset about Santa that I forgot I have the best dog in the whole world. Wow, and the best reindeer, too. Merry Christmas, Olive. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, you're the best. of July. I'm a little bit sad when Halloween has gone by. I'm thankful Thanksgiving <laughs> comes around in the fall. But I've always loved Christmas, the best of them all. Every day special, I'm not complaining. But I'm always counting the days still remaining till Christmas. <laughs> 